The Iron Neck, aka Neck Hold, is a dangerous exercise that has been practiced by some of the top level martial arts athletes and also the Shaolin monks where you've probably seen the exercise first. But in real life, most of the athletes that are training for the neck hold is to gain an incredible amount of neck strength for martial arts sports or for fighting. So there's absolutely no benefits for a beginner or intermediate athlete to train these skills. But if you're an advanced athlete or someone that trained martial arts sports or self-defense as well, you might want to get this exercise unlocked so you can gain an incredible neck strength. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact progression that I've been using to unlock these skills and also the step-by-step -step progression to get you there. So as I said before, I know a lot of you guys want to learn these skills and even if I don't do this tutorial, you're gonna try it. So I'm gonna do my best to give you all the tips that I know to unlock these skills safely, but make sure that you practice these skills at your own risk and that you're aware of the injury that could come with if you're overtraining or if you're performing some of the exercise the wrong way. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started guys. So first of all, before getting started with the progression, I'm gonna show you how to step by step get into a neck hold. So first of all, you wanna make sure that you have enough hair in your lungs before getting into the movement so that you're not suffocating while attempting these skills. Because obviously it's gonna be really hard to breathe while you're hanging on your neck. From my experience, I've never been able to hold a neck hang to the point where I could breathe at the same time. And I've been personally able to hold it for more than 20 seconds. It's pretty much impossible to breathe at the same time as doing these skills. So make sure to take some good breath before getting into this exercise. The second step is gonna be grabbing the bar in a chin up position. It's gonna be easier to get into a neck hole by doing a chin up than a regular pull up because you're gonna have more range of motion to bring your neck over the bar. And that's very important because the main important thing when you're doing a neck hold is to place the bar at the proper spot on your neck. If you place the bar under your jaw, unfortunately it's gonna be really painful and you're probably not gonna be able to hold it because it's not gonna create that locked effect that you wanna do while bringing your neck totally over the bar and creating a locked while engaging your muscle. So the third step is gonna be putting your neck at the proper spot and create the lock effect as I mentioned before, but also engaging your core to be in an L-sit position because if you're holding the neck hang in a vertical position, it's gonna be really hard to also hold the skills because all the pressure is gonna be at a single spot on your neck. But if you're holding an L-sit, it's gonna generate more balance in your neck hold and it's gonna spread the tension all over your neck and not in just one single area. I know it sounds a little bit weird and you might thought that it would actually be harder to hold the neck hold in an L-sit position, but that's the reason why I'm doing this in the video. It's because it's allowing me to create a balance with my body because otherwise I'd be really just hanging by my neck and it will be much harder for me to engage all the proper muscle while not engaging my core at the same time. And the fourth step, when you're into the position before releasing your hands, you wanna make sure that you're really engaging your neck so you're gonna need to not only engage the muscle of your neck, but also of your core at the same time to create a stability and balance while holding on your neck. Otherwise, if you're holding on your neck without engaging the muscle, then you might hurt yourself or you're simply not gonna be able to hold it at all. And like I said at the start, we're not gonna be able to breathe while holding the position, so make sure to hold your breath, engage all your muscle together, and to hold it for around 15 to 20 seconds maximum. So that's it for the step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's jump into the only progression exercise you need to work on to get your iron neck. As I mentioned before, if you're just getting started with these skills, you're not gonna be able to release all your finger or your hands from the bar and hold the iron neck. You're gonna need to slightly remove one finger at a time. And the technique we're gonna use is progressive overload 
just like we're doing with any other calisthenics exercise, even though this one is a little bit crazier than the other. But at first, we're gonna make sure that we're able to hold with both hands and use as slightly as possible assistance from our hands and hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. So when it comes to your iron neck training, you wanna make sure that you're not practicing these skills more than once or twice a week. Otherwise, there's gonna be way too much tension accumulating in your neck. You wanna go slowly with the progress of these skills and you wanna make sure that you're going for around three to four sets and around 15 to 20 seconds of time under tension for each attempt. You wanna decrease the assistance by removing one finger after the other. So you're gonna be holding the neck hold with the support of both hands and slightly over time, release one finger. And I highly suggest you to remove only one or two finger after each workout and wait until you recover before increasing the overload. And trust me, this skill doesn't take too much time to unlock mostly if you're already an advanced athlete, which you should be to be starting these skills, then your next strength should already be at a certain level and you're gonna be able to adapt to these skills pretty fast. So make sure to be patient with your progress and also train smart because as I mentioned before, this is not a skills you wanna overtrain or get injured. Also guys, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe. It's gonna help us reach more people and spread calisthenics to the whole worldwide community. I know it's a crazy skills, we just went over it, but trust me, with time and dedication, anything is possible. And make sure to safely follow these exercises and avoid overtraining. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.